Hi, during these trying times of the pandemic, the City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Department realizes that choices can be limited in enhancing one's physical, social, and mental well-being. The Parks and Recreation staff have been involved in developing a number of videos in which citizens can participate in and enjoy in the privacy of their own home. These videos consist of arts and crafts, gardening, physical activity, and sports instruction, with many more to come as we work through this pandemic. Our videos will be available to you on a number of our social media outlets. We hope you enjoy and thank you very much. Today we're going to be showing you how to make garden markers. We're going to do about three methods. They're very simple and I'm using earthenware or stoneware clay. If you don't have that, you can use air dry clay. And then with the air dry clay, you can paint it with acrylic and, uh, and spray it and it'll be durable outside. I'm using a rolling pin to make sure my clay is smooth and rolled out. And then right now, I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm just gonna, and I'm using a skewer stick. And instead of a knife, so that way kids won't have to borrow sharp instruments. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've got a slab here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my ruler again, and I'm just gonna cut it off right here and then make a point. I can do it that way, that way. And I think that this time of year, zinnias grow real good. So we're gonna make this our zinnia marker. A-I-A. What I'm doing is I'm just taking my fingers and smoothing this clay down because once it gets hard, if you have any rough edges on it, that's gonna cut your fingers. Now, once this is fired, I could paint it and just stick it in the ground. Another way you can make your little clay markers are get find a cookie cutter. Cookie cutters are always fun to work with. So I'm gonna put that indent in, but I've got to make, I can't pull it out yet because I've got to make a tail on it. So what I'm gonna do is to take my steak skewer again and make a tail. The air dry clay is real easy to work with. You don't have to fire the clay to make them good. I'm smoothing things out now. By the way, my clay, I, 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 when I rolled it with my rolling pin, I made it one quarter of an inch, okay? That way, when you engrave on them, it allows room that you can add texture to them or things if you wanted to. We'll do petunia. So we've got two types, just one went done with a ruler, and the other one I took a cookie cutter. Once they're fired and hard, then you can paint them, glaze them. If it's air dry clay, as soon as it's dry, you can paint it with acrylic paint, and then get a clear spray, and spray them, and now make them good for the outside. Uh, you can get air dried clay at many hobby shops in town. Okay, and that's all there is to making your garden markers. So go have some fun.